This video is about using multiple barcode scanners to connect to a single PC and track time within standard time for manufacturing or other office purposes. Um, it's not about how to connect a barcode scanner to a PC. You will have to have these connected if you want to track time in standard time for uh, multiple users on a single PC. So consider this more of an advanced video uh, that uh, discusses the configuration of standard time and, and time tracking there. Uh, there are at least two other videos on our website with the basics uh, of how to track time with a single scanner and so you can learn the basics there if you need to. This is more of an advanced video. So if that works for you, let's go ahead and get started. I've switched back to my screen and I have the time log tab selected. I'll go ahead and press F4 to bring up the barcode window. And you're probably used to barcode scanning where you would scan things like the category, username, uh, project, the timer starts. You look back in the time log tab and you can see that record. And then scan stop to stop the timer. And you can see that the timer is no longer running. When you use multiple barcode scanners for a single PC, things are a little different. In this case, you have to program into each scanner a prefix. A prefix is just a series of characters that you program in that are sent from the scanner every time you scan. So let's go ahead and click the barcode prefixes button here. And you can see that I have set up three guns and I've programmed the prefixes into those guns. My gun one, my gun two, my gun three. You can choose any text you like. I just happen to choose those. But you do have to have unique text so that the software knows which scanner is scanning at any given time. When they scan text, they will emit this series of characters every time. So every time you scan, you will get the prefix that comes out. You probably noticed also down below that there are some defaults that you can select. So whenever this prefix is scanned, these defaults will be chosen. So let's say you have a gun that's associated with a certain user only. And you don't want to have to scan that user because this gun is always for that user. Go ahead and select a user. Same thing with project. If this gun is always associated with a certain project, you can program that in. Same with task or category. So all of these prefixes can be set up with default values. In this case, we have a gun that is set up with not enough default values to actually start the timer. So we would have to wait for more information from the user. So let's go ahead and um, click OK here and go over and scan some text and see what happens. So I've scanned. You saw the prefix and the text go into the window up here. And so in this case, I scan the username Dan. It's waiting for some more information. I'm going to scan some more information here with gun one. OK, in this case, the timer actually started because it had all the default information it needed. And so it just went ahead and started the timer. You can look back in the time log tab and see that. I'm going to scan with a different gun. Here again, you see that in the list. And you also see that the timer started for that one as well. For gun three, it's still waiting for some information. Let's go ahead and give it a category, then a project. And so now the timer has started. So that is a way for you to set up prefixes that would be associated with scanners and be able to use multiple scanners on a single PC. There is one thing to consider here. And that is that end users should probably see or have line of sight to the video monitor that they're working from. Because if you're using a scanner, say 100 feet away from the actual computer, it's wireless, and the operator, the user, cannot see the screen, they don't know if their scans are going in, they don't know if their timer is working. So they would need to visually see the, the actual screen where this is occurring. So it's nice to have these wireless uh, barcode scanners, but the operators or end users probably need line of sight to the video screen. If it's 100 feet away, they probably need a pretty big monitor to see that. Uh, so that's another thing to consider here when you're using multiple barcode scanners on a single computer. So uh, you can go ahead and scan stop or clear, and these things will start going away. 
and you're back to the screen that you're used to. So hopefully that helps with multiple barcode scanners on a single PC.